Um, one time, I was about to um, go to one of my early classes. Then suddenly, a typhoon came in, a signal number one typhoon came in. After looking at the window from our building, the school is flooded, not just by water, but also with plastic waste. The problem is caused by companies, by multinationals, conglomerates in the global north. But the waste problem is transferred here to the global south. And they are saying that we are the third biggest polluter of plastic pollution. But it's not true because those people buying their products have no choice. When they go to the supermarket, it's all there in sachets and this <clears throat> problematic packaging. Before the incinerator came to our neighborhood, it was full of houses and bars and bakeries and shops and schools. From the time the incinerator came in, it burned people out of our community. Uh, families left because of the odors and because of the toxins in our air. Zero Waste really transforms communities. Two of our partner um, communities, or cities rather, is in Malabon and Nabota cities, which is uh, two of the cities here in Metro Manila. We managed to successfully create uh, models and working systems around those communities. We visit some sites that were um, toxic sites at first. And so to see how toxic sites can go from being toxic to being beautiful, we saw that. I really appreciate the waste workers, their attitudes. They're always happy. And we treat them like family. Without them, the zero waste program will not work. To simply put, uh, just try to imagine uh, zero waste is not just a lifestyle, but a way of life of people. It's so important to learn from the Global South how to manage our waste because in the United States, we are creating a ridiculous amount of waste and the problems with plastic are coming from the United States companies. And it, it's to the point where these companies and, and these countries shouldn't be the one creating the solutions because we've created so many problems that we should be looking to you guys and other folks that are already creating these solutions to the problems that we brought. We hope that these um, companies or groups who are offering false solutions to the LGUs would realize how much damage they will create later on. We need to encourage them that zero waste is a long-term investment for us to have a circular and sustainable cities and communities to live in. We are grateful with Gaia because it um, strengthened collaboration and solidarity by making us partners with the city in a developed country like uh, the U.S. I think this uh, partnership will show that we have the same problems, so we also uh, create solutions. So whether you are in the global north or in the global south, the problem of waste is there. So even though they're on the south and we're on the north, we're still on the same planet. Even though we're thousands of miles away, we still have the same issues, but we're still working 
towards the same goal. We share one, one Earth, one planet. We share one air, one water, and it all goes back to all of us. We need to make sure that we keep pushing these best practices and that we um, you know, learn from each other because the solutions are coming from communities that are most affected. And we are the voices of our communities and are able to express those solutions together.